If somehow we can avoid being unconscious for 8 hours every day, we can get more things done or at least spend more time on Netflix. So why do people need to sleep? One reason for this is the human body's biological rhythm, the natural cycle of activity that the body must follow. Everything in the universe is following a cycle. You go through a cycle of seasons that repeat every year. The moon revolves around the earth and the earth has its cycle of revolving around the sun. Similarly, your body follows a biological cycle. Some cycles are monthly, like the women's menstrual cycle, while others are far short, like the beating of your heart. Some biological cycles take place on a daily basis. That includes the rise and fall of your blood pressure and your sleep-wake cycle. And the sleep-wake cycle is what we are interested here and it's called the circadian rhythm. It's made from two Latin words because in neuroscience we are so passionate about deriving words from Latin and Greek language. The two words are circa which means about and diem meaning day. So circadian rhythm takes about a day to complete. This is happening in the part of the brain called the hypothalamus that is located just above the brainstem and below thalamus. This part is responsible for regulating the autonomic nervous system. Deep within the hypothalamus is the internal clock and this internal clock is named suprachiasmatic nucleus. I just like to think of it as a very charismatic nucleus. So this suprachiasmatic nucleus or the internal clock is sensitive to light. When the daylight fades in the evening, it tells the pineal gland to secrete melatonin, which is a hormone responsible for sleep. As melatonin accumulates in your brain, you feel sleepy. When the light comes into your brain through your eyelids in the morning, the internal clock tells the pineal gland to stop secreting melatonin, which enables you to wake up. That's a lot of power for a small little part. Body temperature also plays a role in inducing sleep. Suprachiasmatic nucleus as part of the hypothalamus controls body temperature. The higher the temperature, the more alert people are and lower the temperature, the sleepier they are. That's why bears hibernate. When people are asleep at night, their body temperature is at its lowest. Therefore, one useful tip for getting a better quality sleep is to keep your room temperature slightly lower than what you're used to, probably around 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. But how much sleep is required for people? Well, it depends on person to person. A young adult typically needs 7 to 9 hours of sleep and as you age, this duration reduces. Some people are short sleepers requiring 4 to 5 hours of sleep to function normally while others require more than 9 hours. And just losing out on one night of sleep can do a lot to a person. For most people there will be concentration problems and they will not be able to do simple tasks such as putting a DVD inside a DVD player. But more complex tasks such as solving a mathematical problem will not be impacted that much because people know that it requires extra effort. But all of these daily simple tasks that require no thought at all like brushing your teeth will be impacted. A kind of sleep called NREM sleep is responsible for strengthening memories. Therefore, losing a night's sleep will also lead to memory problems. Students who are staying up all night to study for an important test are doing it at a cost of losing more information than they gain. In the next video, we will discuss about the stages of sleep, including wakefulness, REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep, and NREM sleep or non-rapid eye movement sleep that is responsible for deep rest.